the same conversation with your guys before games like this, especially throughout th this season. Does it feel at all like they're not listening? Is that I mean, do, is that something that comes through when when you watch the same type of performance in the first half and in all the games like this? Um, I wouldn't say not listening. I just think that you know every night we got to um, respect our opponent and um, have a sense of urgency, not the fourth quarter, not the last six minutes, but from start to finish. And um, you know, it's been happening over the course of the last four years. You know, um, when guys are out or you know we're playing teams that don't have a good record. We gotta understand they're still gonna compete, they're still gonna play hard. And if we don't match that energy, we're gonna get beat. David Benham and ESPN, uh, obviously Kyle Corver's fourth quarter shooting helped you make it a game, but the shooting was dreadful the first three quarters. How can you account for that? Um, it's tough. I think um, at halftime we were two for sixteen, I think, from three. And um, you know, we're not making shots, we just can't let it affect our defense. And um, you know, we try to blitz shoulder, we try to switch, um, we try to ice, we try to drop, and um, he just had it going. And, um, you know, they got everything they wanted offensively. But, you know, I think, you know, we just got to do a better job, like I said, not letting our offense dictate our defense. <coughs> Marlon, right now, Akron Beacon Journal, down there in the final seconds, it looked like everyone was afraid to shoot. Um, <laughs> Did, did you did that strike you or did you? I didn't get a chance to look at it. I didn't get a chance to see it, but you know, um, it's our motto. If, you know, if guys are open, we're getting good shots. You got to take them. So, um, if guys turn down shots, I, didn't, I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Ty, what's going on with Kevin Love? Uh, has an illness. I'm mean, sick, and um, that's all I know. Was there any consideration for him to keep going, or you know, I think he came out. Did he come out because he was sick? Or did he come out? Yeah, he's um, now at the hospital getting reevaluated. So um, okay. he has an illness, and we don't know. That's all we know right now. Uh, David Zavak, The Athletic. Uh, a couple of years ago when Derek Rose was at his best, uh, his assist numbers, his assist percentage, his assist rate was a lot higher uh, than what it's been here in Cleveland. Uh, is he moving the ball, or what can he do to get others involved? Um, well, the ball's not in his hands the whole time. And, you know, um, with LeBron handling a lot, with D. Wade handling, um, he's not really in those positions, you know, to really, you know, get assists. But um, just playing with pace, being aggressive, attacking the basket um, is what we need from him and everything else to take care of itself. Coach Ron Potesta, Sports Animal 1390. You alluded to the fact that teams below 500 tend to play much better against the Cavaliers. How disappointing is that for you as a coach? Um, it's very disappointing. And um, not under 500, but every single night we're going to get guys' best shots. And um, we have to understand that. Jason. Jason Lowe, The Athletic. Being a former player and knowing how to prepare for a game, what is the coach's responsibility in getting players ready to play in a game? And how much is it on a player to get himself mentally ready to, to go? Um, I don't know. You know, um, I've been around since my 20th season, and um, it's not a rah-rah thing. I mean, you know, these guys are grown men. So um, just tell them the truth about teams are going to play hard. Um, I was in Isaiah Taylor and Prince, these guys are going to play hard. They're going to compete. And whether we know who these guys are or not, um, we got to respect them. So um, if you say it's my job to, to do rah-rah and all that, then um, – We'll have to see. We'll have to see going from here. The way Wade played when he came in, did you think that might spark you sooner? Um, well, he did. He came off the bench, and our bench gave us a great lift.